Hello, welcome. This is Brandon with Mutico. Uh, quick screencast showing you our latest plugin. I'm going to try to keep this as short and sweet as possible because I know these screencasts can be uh, boring and dull and just tremendously painful to sit through. So I'm going to try to do this quickly. Uh, Woo Download Credits is our latest plugin. Uh, just got approved at the WordPress.org repository and published uh, the files uh, just a few short minutes ago. Um, the plugin is pretty self-explanatory in the name, Woo Download Credits. It allows uh, you to sell download credits in bulk for your WooCommerce store and lets your customers then use those credits to purchase downloadable or virtual items. Um, so here's the landing page at our Muthco website uh, with a link to download for free at WordPress. So. We're going to go over here to the WordPress admin. Uh, you'd search for Woo Download Credits. It would pop up here. Uh, it's currently green and kind of just generic. Uh, I'm going to be uploading a banner um, so that it looks a little cooler. Anyway, you're going to install that. And once it's installed, what it does is when you go over to your WooCommerce and roll over, it gives you this Download Credits link, which you can click. And from there, it allows you to configure a credit package. So I've just called this credit package. I'm going to give 50 credits for 25 bucks. You, this could be anything. You could give 100 credits for $10, 100 credits for $1,000, whatever you want to do. Um, and once you do that, uh, once that's set and you click Save, um, you can then go over to your products in your WooCommerce store and select the product that you want to offer as a virtual and downloadable. Make sure both of those are checked. And it drops this field in credits required for download. So you're going to have your regular price in dollar terms, but you can offer uh, the price in credits as well. So for this particular one, I've set the credit required for download to three. So you save that and you go out to your store and here's that test product five dollars or three credits um, when your customer comes and adds this to their cart oh it's already added to the cart so we'll view it um, oh, but real quick so when they add it to the cart um, it shows you you have 50 credits remaining um, and you can buy more if you need to but I've already purchased credits so we'll skip that for now um, we're gonna view our cart and you'll see that the test product is in there with the price of $5 or three credits. So I'm going to proceed to checkout. And when your customers check out, what the plugin does is it allows, it, it adds this as a payment option. So you can click download credits and your current balance is 50. So I'm going to place the order for that. And it's going to take me to my order received. It's going to deduct my credits by three and give me uh, 47 remaining, um, giving my receipt. Uh, then from here, they would be able to download um, the actual file that you uploaded. I didn't upload a file for this one, um, but when you were back here um, in your product, you would just say, you know, add file, cho choose the file to upload, and then they would be able to download that um, once they checked out. Uh, they can go to my account at any time, and buy more credits. So the plugin adds this section here. Um, they click buy more and it adds that 25 bucks for 50 credits. And we'll check out. And it's in the cart. Um, I'm going to pay with a direct. You can't buy credits with credits. So, you, I mean, obviously you use a credit card or whatever. Um, because you want, you're converting cash into credits. So that seems pretty self-explanatory to me. Um, I have went ahead and purchased that and I just need to go over here because it's a direct bank transfer and there's no automatic payment notification. I'm just gonna hit complete and go back here and to my account. Now it should have bumped up that 47 that I had by 50. So now they have uh, 97 download credits. So very basic system. Um, this this is very popular on, you know, iStock Photo, all, all these digital places where, where you can convert cash into credits and then use those credits for download. Um, actually developed this specifically for a website that, that I run set up, um, Modern Oliver. 
which I sell digital um, digital downloads for artwork for your home. Um, so that is where uh, where and why I developed the the plugin. Um, the the shop originally started by selling physical items, and as I transitioned into selling digital ones, um, I didn't want to go look for a new solution to WooCommerce. I just decided to add uh, that credit feature there. So that's the free version. Uh, very, very quickly, as quickly as I can do this, um, I will show you the pro version. Um, the pro version is an upgrade and it does the exact same thing with one simple addition. So I'm going to deactivate the free version. Come on internet. And I'm going to activate the pro version. And we're going to go back to here and roll over, go to download credits. What the pro version does is it allows you to add multiple tiers. So tier one, 100 credits, 10 credits for 50 bucks. Um, add another version or another tier, tier two. Uh, trying to think how this would work. So ideally the more credits they buy, the less per credit you want them to pay. So you might offer 20 for 75. Uh, tier three, you know, 54. Is this, is this making sense? I think this is making sense. <laughs> 50 for 100. Yes, yeah, this is making sense. So then you save that. Um, so you save those tiers, and then when they go back out um, to my account and they want to buy more credits, they, they have the tiers there so they can purchase uh, multiple tiers. To get, to get a discount on the per credit item. So right here it's five bucks per credit. If they part with a hundred bills at once, it's $2 a credit. So you're, it's the way to give them a discount to buy more at a time. So that is it, Woo Download Credits. Download it, enjoy it, uh, hit us up on Twitter, um, all that good stuff. Questions, comments, concerns, uh, whatever. Have a great day and I look forward to hearing feedback, bye.